So hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Jenny Guy. So in today's video, we are going to be learning how we can install a lens camera shield, which is of our Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. But the instructions that I tell you will also be applicable for other models as long as your camera is actually in a flat surface. So for iOS and everything, you have the ring ones basically, but I have the full metal version. So I'm going to install it on a flat surface. Now, very first thing you have to do is just make sure there aren't any other type of camera lenses already installed on a camera. So in my case, I have already previously installed a camera glass so in order to add a new one i have to basically remove the current one over here so what you need to do is in order to remove the current one i'm just going to be using my nails but you can actually use some other objects anything flat surface such as it could be a coin or anything so as you can see i basically have this removed now if you don't have dust over here that's perfectly fine but then i just recommend you to actually wipe it now usually on your camera protector as well you should be able to get that wiper if you get that wiper then that's perfectly fine so let me go ahead and remove it for you so this is right here over here is my camera lens that i'm going to be installing and then after that i basically have the wipers here so here you can see this and then you can also see this soft cloth over here now i'm just going to be wiping this off we're using a one of the wipers so, so you can see wet and dry now i personally don't like the wet one because that is going to just stick out the glue and when i stick it to it i have to use the dry ones again so i'm just going to be using the dry version over here so let me go ahead and just tear this out and then use the dry version so as you can see i have the dry version here just softly make sure to spread it around the glass over here as you can see make sure there aren't any type of marks or anything installed on your camera first of all again Now don't just clean the camera, also make sure to clean the surfaces over here as you can see. Once you clean both the surfaces and everything, make sure that there aren't any type of fingerprints installed. Now once you do that, I'm going to unpack my camera lens over here. And then depending upon your camera lens, you want to make sure to simply go ahead and then remove this surface of the glass. So I'll just go ahead and do that as well respectively. Now just a little bit of thumbs up that I want to tell you is to do not touch this surface at all. So if you touch the surface, this is actually a sticky part. Your camera lens are not going to be stick properly. So you want to make sure to not touch the surface. Now slowly and gently, you want to make sure to just adjust the angle and place it on your camera over here. So once again, just make sure there aren't any type of dust and dirt in here. After you've done that, I'm just going to place it just like that. So once again, before you try to confirm this, just check if all the angles are okay from the top right, top left to the bottom right to the bottom left. If the lenses are actually actually not adjustable properly, you can just move it back and forth just for a few seconds after you actually go ahead and then paste the glass right over here as you could see. So now once I've done that, just press it gently. Once you press it gently, just try to move around a little and if, see if the glue sticks. If the glue is moving around, then you want to press it more hardly and then actually make sure that it is sticking to a place. You don't want this to move around guys, you really don't want that to be the case. So right over here, you can see I've successfully installed my camera lens over here. So you can see this hole over here has come a little bit to the bottom surface, but that's not an issue. It's really easy. It's even easier than installing a tempera glass. It's similar to that, but this one is much quite easier. You are not going to get bubbles. Or even if you do, that's really not going to matter as long as they're not in the camera section because I have a protective one. Now, just for a little bit of thumbs up, I'm also going to go ahead and check my camera here. And I'm going to see if I can see everything properly. Now, in the normal one, it's going to see it. You can try to zoom out to the 5x and then you should be able to see that this is also going to see properly. When you go to the maximum zoom out and then you see something black along the lens, basically the rings are covering it. So you should be able to remove that and actually install it again so if you're seeing the rings you want to just take it out and install it again now just for the finishing now i'm going to use the wet wiper and then actually remove all of the fingerprints inside of it now and then i'm also going to put a protective case and then just install it in that way so here i have my wiper basically i'll basically just go ahead and then remove this one as well our camera installation process is actually finished i'll just go ahead and remove the rest of the dirt and then i'll use a dry towel soft towel in order to wipe this wet thing off as well now, even after you install the camera, the, your phone protector, your camera should be just fine. So uh, let me also just go ahead and do that. And now you can see it looks really good and it also looks really neat than the previous one, which I had a transparent one. This is actually a full body covering one. And this is simply how you can install camera lens. We hope the video was really helpful. And if it did help you, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them down. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.